All right, so our plan today is to put on some uh, sugar water for them. Um, I don't think the nectar flow is going yet, and we just want to make sure they have enough food to make it through this last bit of cooler weather we're going to have. Uh, we have a few nice days coming up in the 50s and 60s, so um, the way these work is you can see this hole here. The bees can climb up through here over this edge and back down in onto one of these floats. And then, so we'll stick the floats in and then pour the sh sugar syrup in here. And the syrup we're using in the spring is uh, one part sugar to one part water. Um, so let's get to it. Let's see what they look like. see I mean there's bees all the way across this thing last year we had one hive make it through and I'll bet there was only coming out of the winter I'll bet we only had maybe three frames worth of bees this cluster is this big I don't know how deep it goes but I can imagine probably pretty deep um, and these are the carniolans but she's got like a lot of fuzz on on her uh, yep. on her head there, which means she probably hatched out not too long ago. I'll bet our bet our, our queen's laying pretty well. I'm not super excited. You can see as I move over the hive that they're just kind of all popping up to see what's going on. Yeah, this is just a straight up pollen frame. There's no honey on it though. Not one not one bit of honey on it. Which is a little bit, you know, concerning. We want to be seeing the capped honey. Just want to be seeing the honey. Yeah, it's all closed. This is a brood frame, covered with cat brood, both sides. See eggs, plenty of eggs, tons of eggs. Can you hold it? There you go. I'm guessing this stuff pretty much is just now hatch, hatching out. Actually, I can see a bee hatch in there, but kind of covered up. So I'm not gonna keep these girls out too much. I wanted to take a peek and see how it was going. These both boxes are full. There are a ton of bees in here. So I'm definitely going to get the feed on them. And I'm probably going to end up going to get more feed. The last thing we want to happen is with this many bees in here, you know, is them to run out of food. And, make it just over a couple weeks. So, get this put back together and get the food on it. So now we got a, the frame is back in there and uh, the inner cover is still off so it goes brood box, brood box, feeder. So I'm not sure what, what hives are going to need what so I'm going to only pour about a third of this in here. just to give them something to start on. No, apparently more than a third. And then I've heard you should just dribble a little bit down into the hive to get them coming up and looking for it. So now we're gonna just put the inner cover back on and uh, 
shut these girls up and move on to the Italians. All right, so that was the Italians, and now we're going to get into the Carniolans. And pretty much do the same deal. I'm just going to try to be quicker about this. I was just really interested. I haven't been into a hive yet this year, so... down in the bottom so this hive has less bees but still there's plenty in there as heavy as that is I'm not worried about this hive so I'm just gonna I'm not gonna put a feeder on them instead I'm gonna give their feed to the Italian I think that's a plan all right so this is the last hive we got to go through same deal I'm just gonna look in Peek, see how everybody's doing. Get an idea of our food stores to see if we need to feed. Again, a ton of bees. is heavy but there are more bees down there than there were on the last hive I don't see any honey in it but it's still <laughs> still decently heavy so wait why is it we were maybe a little bit lighter than uh, the Italians and about the same as the Carniolan, so we're gonna go ahead and give them feed. We're gonna come back and give the Italians feed too, it's just um, we're, we, we didn't have much sugar to make sugar water, so um, we're just gonna give them what we got and then we're gonna go pick up some more sugar, make some more syrup and come back and feed them. Probably beginning of next week when the temperatures hit about 60 again so we're getting excited bee season's almost here so thanks for watching <laughs>